So here's the thing. Um, I'm well aware that it is October 9th today, but it's also 82 degrees today. So, um, I'm using that excuse to do like a spring ass makeup look because um I hate fall and I like spring so <laughs> okay so um I'm going to moisturize because I have dry as fuck skin and moisturizing is important anyways okay um so today is my actually let me start let me figure out what the fuck i'm doing before i start this um okay so i lost the top for this and elf discontinued this which i'm very sad about and um i really like it so I, like i want to use it before it all dries out so i don't really know what i'm gonna do at this point um but so basically yesterday um, was my grandpa's birthday, um, and if you, well, I guess maybe even if you knew me, you wouldn't really know how important my grandpa was to me, but, um, sometimes life sucks, and, um, you lose people that you love early on in your life who have helped you out a lot and um that's sometimes just life so i don't really know how i'm gonna do this because well i mean i wanted to use this because it's like a lighter toned eyeshadow but like i also want to use this before it dries up and this is like light brown so, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There are no rules to makeup, so I'm just gonna put a shimmer shade in my crease because, because I, um, that's why. I like how every time I post, like, a makeup type video, oh my gosh, wow, that's so weird. The moment that there's no cap, like, it immediately, like, all went, that's so weird. But every time I post a makeup, I didn't even part my eyes, oh my god, who am I? Every time I post, like, a makeup-esque video, it, like, never gets, like, a lot of views, which is fine, because I never, like, I've never, I've never done YouTube to get views, and, like, not getting views does not upset me or, or anything like that. But every time I do one and like all that, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna do like a makeup related video again because that's not my thing. And I've stated that a million times. And then I always somehow end up making a makeup related video. Anyways, and I'm just like, okay, why are you being so problematic? I love how that's like my version of problematic. Like the beauty community is shaking. So I just primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original and now I'm going to set my eyes with, oh that's so much powder, there's still powder floating everywhere, okay I don't, this is like the under eye setting powder or some shit, I'm not really sure. So now I'm just going to put the e.l.f. smudge pot oh boy, in the shade Cruising Chick in my crease because that's the only choice I have if I'm going to use this and I'm going to use this. The thing with this eyeshadow is like it'll seem like there won't be like any product on your brush and then you'll like put it in and like you'll like start like applying it and like there's so much product and i've like had this eyeshadow for years and i still make that mistake i don't
So I've said this once in like a um, get ready with me like when I was like getting when I was drinking wine and stuff a couple of months ago, but I just feel like I I want to like touch on it again for absolutely no no one asked for this, but I'm going to do it anyways. So Tana Mojo. She's friends with a lot of like people who like are universally in like the social media industry known to like have like a good sense of like character, like Ricky, Dylan, Shane Dawson, and like other people like that. And whenever like she's like like whenever like she collabs with them or like posts a picture with them or anything like that, everyone always like like posts comments like oh like Tana sucks like why are you hanging out with her like she's like this she's that she's this she's that and personally I'm just like okay she's fucked up true T but like if people who are known to have a good sense of character are friends with her through all of her like scandals and fuck ups stream fuck up and like still like are friends with her after each scandal like I just feel like wouldn't that in itself be like kind of like a flashy neon sign that she's not as bad as people feel like she is or feel like she is or think she is and plus like these are the people these are the people who like know her in person and like people the people who judge her and like don't like her for the most part, only you know her, like, from what they see online. And I'm just like, I, don't you think that the people who know her, in, like, in real life might know her a little bit better and might have a better idea of, like, who she is and what she stands for and whether or not she's a good person or not, like, just my two cents. Just some food for thought. Also, I don't know what the fuck this is. I got this in an Ipsy bag. This is, like... Or maybe, no, I either got this in an Epsi bag or my best friend Carrie gave this to me for, my, for Christmas. This is like a, a DLS, or maybe it's this, I don't know. Um, eyeshadow crayon in the shade Fetch. So on the bright side, this is not as like, the color differences between the other eyeshadow and this one are not as significantly stark as I thought they were going to be and they actually complement each other quite well so like that's a plus also am I the only one who has not watched any of Shane Dawson's series on Jake Paul yet like literally nothing against Shane for not I guess like I'm not like watching it and like protest I just haven't like gotten the urge to watch it. I feel like I'm waiting till the series is completely done to like watch it. But I also feel like since it's about Jake Paul, I just have no urge to watch it. I feel like that's also really hypocritical of me because when he was doing the docu series on Tana for TanaCon, and everyone was like, "Well, I'm not gonna watch it because I don't like Tana," and I was just like. So that is a tad bit hypocritical. It would be hypocritical of me to not watch the series just because it's about Jake Paul. And the reason that I haven't watched the show, the reason that I have not watched this series yet isn't even because it's like about Jake Paul. It's just I just have not had the energy to because I've been sick for the past two weeks and attempting to watch. But five, five videos or four videos that are 40 minutes long about something about like a person and like a subject so like complex and like just like energy consuming it's just a lot plus my like major is already psychology so like my two classes are psychology and sociology so like my school work in itself is already like really time consuming and like mentally exhausting in itself so just to add on like a whole like 
other four or five videos that are all like 40 minutes long of like around the same type of topic is a little bit a little bit too much but I'm I'm planning on watching them Okay, so here's the thing. So like, this eyeshadow is like incredibly like malleable. So like, it doesn't blend very well on top of itself. So like, we're running into a slight issue. But like, I don't want to like if it took on blended, but I can't really blend it. Uh, together, so like um, I mean, honestly, you know, it's it's been worse. This is so fucking ironic. I was literally planning on making the intro. This is the easiest, like, makeup look you'll ever see. And then I just... Okay, I'm just gonna move on from that because, um... It's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna do foundation. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade porcelain because I need to finish this and I'm almost out. But actually, I'm gonna spot and seal before I do that with my... Do I need to read the names? Does anyone even care? I mean, no one's gonna watch... No one's gonna watch this video, so like, I can read the name because I can. This is the Red and Wild Coverall Cover Stick in the shade 801 Light Pale. Like, I'm aware that this foundation color is, um, absolutely not it. Um, but I'm just trying to finish up the bottle because I paid for it and, um, I want to get my money's worth. My phone could die in, like, any second now. I'm gonna plug it in. Wait, do you? Like, I really went out to like, parties wearing this foundation. <sighs> I don't know why anyone didn't tell me to stop. Like, do you see? So my grandpa's birthday is today, like I said. And so, like, well, first of all, my grandpa's family was like in the mafia and this man that's relevant for a reason that I'll, I'll get to and that this man changed his birth certificate and no one knew until after he died and he didn't tell my grandma that he was younger than her until after they were married or no until after they sent out the wedding cards because she had told him that she wanted to marry someone who was older than her and he told her that he was older than her and then after they sent out the wedding cards he was like oh by the way younger than you and i'm just like when i, when I heard the story that he like changed his like birth certificate i was like i want to be surprised but like how do y'all think that like this family survived in a mafia like they had to have something that's good like this my grandpa's finessing skills were so good that one time he got pulled over by the police because he was speeding and he was like well if you drive like alongside me you will see that i was not speeding and so somehow he got the police officer to drive alongside him where he drove at the, like 
the speed limit, like, and, they, and he didn't get a ticket. And I was just like, if I'm gonna get a tattoo, it's gonna like, like my first tattoo, it's I wanted to um, be in remembrance of him. And then like a month later, me, my sister, my dad, and my sister's boyfriend were all like talking about my family, I guess. And my dad was like, yeah, no one knows my like dad's birthday. And I was like, excuse me? He's like, yeah, there's two different, there's two dates and no one is sure which date it is. And I was just like, what? And then my sister, like, and her boyfriend, they got it, like, right away, and they burst out laughing. And my dad was like, what, like, what, what's happening? Like, why is this, like, the reaction that I'm getting? Like, he was, like, confused as to why he was getting that reaction. And my cat just came in the room. And I was like, um, do you not see how this could be a bit problematic? And he was like, I, I, I don't understand, like, I don't get it. Oh, okay, that's cool. And I was like, Dad, what is my tattoo? And he was just like, well, I'm on his gravestone, it says the 8th, so, like, we all went with the 8th. And I was just like, It's just all around problematic, but what can you do? Now that my face is um a little darker and yellower. Yellower? Is yellow a little word? Yellower. More yellow than um, it really should be. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Or should I do the highlight? I'm going to do my highlight. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Favorite Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights. This I mean, I've said this is my favorite highlighter a million times, but um, it's, my, it's my favorite highlighter. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Pow pomade in powder and pomade. The eyebrow, the e.l.f. gel and powder eyebrow kit, I, you know, that sounds closest to what it probably is, so, actually, you know what, no, I'm not, I'm gonna use the, the Wet and Wild, ow, no, ow, I, I think that's how you pronounce that, that word, natural, palette and the shade um I think it's eight because like I'm, I'm using this instead because my cat has made my um, makeup box its new little home and like this is like this and I just I want to use up all the shades that I use out of this palette as fast as I can while I while they're still sanitary. Okay, it's been a little bit. My phone ran out of storage, so I had to make some adjustments. I kind of like want to do a video where like I get tipsy or drunk, and like just talk about like things that I feel like are my like like an unpopular opinion tipsy slash drug edition but like I, I also just like I have like baby hairs and they're just so annoying when trying to like do foundation or eyebrows and makes me First of all, this eyebrow just is not going well. I like how I stay silent and just like don't talk while I do my eyebrows as if that's going to make a better outcome ever. Okay. This is... Okay. 
I mm, you know I'm not even gonna attempt to fix it or anything I wasn't really planning on doing mascara but like I always feel like makeup looks aren't really complete without mascara maybe that's just me but Alright, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Plump Waterproof Mascara. Alright, you can't tell at all, but some actually came out. Okay. And then for the lips, I'm actually going to put on lipstick. I'm actually going to put on something other than chapstick. Wait, well, I'm playing on chapstick currently because... My lips are always really dry, and I, you know, I'm gonna use the NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream in the shade Buttery Nude. I am the worst at lining my lips, like the worst. I can't do it at all. And I have the shakiest hands too, so that probably doesn't help in the slightest. Did I not get any of that? No. Okay. So that was um a chit chat gay ride with me. Is this is this what that is? I I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't really know um terms beauty good terms but um this bun is not having it today okay well i'm gonna go um thanks for watching stay lit since the sun is still out i just thought i would show a clip of what my makeup looks like in actual like good lighting i mean aside from The fact that I can't do makeup. I was gonna say it looks kind of good, but like. That, mm, 